Mark, Sarah, Alex, and Lisa were a group of friends known for their love of adventure. They were always seeking something thrilling to do. Mark was the instigator, always finding new places to explore. Sarah, his closest friend, was cautious but couldn't resist a challenge. Alex was the skeptic, relying on logic even in the most bizarre situations. Lisa, the quietest of the group, often had a sense of intuition that proved invaluable. One gloomy evening, Mark overheard a chilling tale about an abandoned asylum on the outskirts of town. Its walls held secrets, and it was said to be haunted by the restless souls of its past inhabitants. Mark couldn't resist the algor of the unknown, so he gathered the others. Armed with flashlights and a mixture of trepidation and excitement, they set out as the sun began its descent. As they approached the asylum, a feeling of unease washed over them. The courtyard, once manicured, was now a tangled mess of overgrown weeds. The gates groaned in protest as they pushed them open, revealing the crumbling facade beyond. Silence hung heavy, broken only by the distant cries of nocturnal creatures. The air was charged with a palpable sense of foreboding. With every step into the asylum, the floorboards protested, groaning beneath their weight. The only illumination was the narrow beams of their flashlights, which cast long, unsettling shadows on the peeling wallpaper. The once vibrant walls were now faded, bearing witness to years of neglect. Each doorway they passed seemed to hold its own secrets, concealed in the darkness. As they delved deeper, the air grew colder and strange noises echoed through the halls. Glimpses of movement flickered at the edge of their vision, but when they turned, there was nothing there. Nervous laughter punctuated the tension, but Sarah's eyes betrayed her growing unease. It's just our imagination, she insisted, though doubt clouded her voice. They stumbled upon a room filled with dusty patient records, revealing a grim history of suffering and neglect. Tattered restraints lay discarded on the floor, a haunting reminder of the asylum's cruel past. Alex shivered, unable to shake the feeling of unseen eyes watching them. He tried to make sense of it all, but the pieces refused to fit together. In a dimly lit corridor, a shadowy figure materialized for a fleeting moment before vanishing. Panic rippled through the group, their heartbeats pounding in unison. Mark's voice wavered as he attempted to rationalize the apparition, but doubt lingered in his eyes. The asylum seemed to hold its breath, as if awaiting their next move. Whispers and phantom footsteps echoed around them, their source elusive. Lace's grip tightened on her flashlight, her knuckles turning white. We need to leave, she urged, eyes wide with alarm. But the exit was sealed, a barrier of rusted iron and rotting wood. The weight of their isolation pressed down on them, suffocating in its intensity. The asylum seemed to come alive, memories of tormented souls seeping from its walls. Each member of the group was subjected to vivid, unsettling visions, faces contorted in pain, echoing the suffering that had once filled these forsaken halls. Reality blurred, leaving them grasping for any semblance of sanity. Time lost all meaning as they navigated the labyrinthine corridors, their breaths labored and uneven. The air grew thick with a suffocating dread, pressing in from all sides. Their flashlights flickered, casting erratic beams that danced along the decaying walls. Panic surge, drowning reason in a sea of terror. In a room choked with darkness, they confronted a malevolent presence. Their screams echoed, merging with the anguished cries of the past. Adrenaline surge, lending them a desperate strength. They fought back, their resolve unyielding. This was a battle not only for their lives, but for their very souls. With every ounce of determination, they pushed forward, driven by an instinct to survive. The walls seemed to close in, suffocating them with their oppressive weight. The exit loomed ahead a beacon of hope amidst the suffocating darkness. They poured every ounce of strength into breaking free, their breathless sobs echoing through the empty halls. Emerging from the asylum, they stumbled into the cold light of dawn, their bodies trembling with exhaustion and terror. The morning sun painted the world in gentle hues, 
but the shadows of the asylum still clung to their minds. A silent pact formed among them. This nightmarish chapter would remain locked away, a haunting secret they would carry forever. As the days passed, the asylum stood as a solemn sentinel, its history buried beneath layers of decay. The sun rose and set, casting shifting patterns of light and shadow across its weathered facade. The group, forever bound by their shared trauma, found solace in one another's company. Theirs was a bond forged in the crucible of fear. Years later, the group reconvened, their faces lined with the passage of time. The asylum remained, a dark specter on the horizon. Though they had moved forward, the memories of that fateful night lingered, woven into the fabric of their lives. They spoke little of it, but their unspoken understanding bound them together, a reminder of the horrors they had faced. The old asylum, silent and watchful, held its secrets close. It stood as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring power of friendship in the face of unimaginable terror. Emily was a young photographer with a keen eye for the beauty in forgotten places. She loved to capture the way time painted its stories on old buildings and abandoned spaces. Her camera was like a faithful companion, always ready to frame a moment of history. One day, Emily heard whispers about a factory long forgotten, hidden away from prying eyes. Intrigued, she set out to find it. When she arrived, she was met with a sight that sent shivers down her spine. The factory stood tall, its windows like empty eyes, its walls bearing the weight of years gone by. Emily couldn't tear her eyes away. The factory's decay was like an art form, each crack and chip telling a story. She felt an inexplicable connection, as if the factory was calling out to her, begging to be remembered. Time seemed to slip away as Emily focused on her work, the sun dipped low on the horizon, casting long shadows that danced along the factory's walls. It was then that she realized night was creeping in, wrapping the factory in a cloak of darkness. As darkness settled, the factory seemed to hold its breath. It was a silence that felt heavy, like a secret waiting to be told. Emily's footsteps echoed, the only sound in the vast emptiness. Then, as if carried on a breeze, Emily heard them, faint whispers, soft and haunting. They seemed to come from all directions, yet no source was in sight. She strained to catch the words, but they eluded her grasp, leaving only a sense of unease. Undeterred, Emily delved deeper into the factory's heart. Among the remnants of forgotten industry, she uncovered traces of lives once lived here. Rusty machinery stood as silent sentinels, bearing witness to a time long past. Faded photographs offered glimpses into the faces of those who had toiled here. A chill crept down Emily's spine. It was no longer just the whispers that unsettled her, but a feeling of something watching, something malevolent. Shadows seemed to dance in the corners of her vision, fleeting but ever-present. Then, in a flicker of darkness, she saw it, a form barely there but undeniably real. It hovered, its eyes fixed on Emily, cold and unyielding. She gasped, her heart pounding, realizing she was not alone in the factory's depths. Panic surged as Emily rushed to leave, only to find the exit sealed shut. Desperation clawed at her, the air growing thick with a suffocating fear. It was as if the factory itself had become a prison, and Emily, the unwilling captive, with every ounce of strength, Emily searched for a way out. She pounded on walls, screamed for help, but her cries fell on deaf ears. The whispers grew louder, mocking her, taunting her. It was a battle of wills, and Emily refused to surrender. In a final, trembling stand, Emily confronted the malevolent presence. Her voice, though shaky, held a steely resolve. She demanded to be released, to be free from the clutches of the factory and the sinister force that dwelled within. The factory seemed to groan, the air electric with tension. Emily's plea hung in the silence, echoing off the walls. She held her breath, her heart pounding in her chest, waiting for a response. The seconds stretched on, 
each one feeling like an eternity. Then, in a surge of otherworldly energy, the factory relented. Doors creaked open and windows shattered, releasing Emily from its grasp. She stumbled out, gasping for air, her body trembling with exhaustion and relief. The malevolent force seemed to recede, retreating back into the shadows. Emily emerged change, forever marked by the nightmarish encounter. She turned back to look at the factory, its facade weathered and worn. Its secrets remained, hidden within its walls. Emily knew she could never return, but the haunting memory would stay with her, a testament to the unseen forces that dwell in forgotten places. Tom, Sarah, Mike, and Lisa were a group of friends known for their love of exploration. They shared a fascination with hidden and forgotten places, always seeking the thrill of uncovering secrets buried beneath the earth. Their latest adventure led them to the whispered legend of a long-forgotten mine, rumored to hold treasures untold. The group had heard tales of the old mine from the locals. It was said to be a place of mystery and wonder, its depths shrouded in darkness, and its walls echoing with the ghosts of the past. Intrigued by the possibility of hidden riches, they gathered their gear and set out towards the mine, their hearts pounding with excitement and a touch of nervousness. As they arrived at the mine's entrance, a great chasm yawned before them. The darkness seemed almost alive, swallowing the feeble beams of their headlamps. They stood at the precipice, a mixture of awe and uncertainty washing over them. The mine seemed to beckon, promising untold secrets for those brave enough to descend. With cautious steps, they ventured into the mine. The air grew colder, sending shivers down their spines. The walls seemed to close in, the weight of the earth pressing in from all sides. Their headlamps cut through the darkness, casting long, distorted shadows on the damp rock. As they delved deeper, they stumbled upon remnants of days long gone. Rusted tools and discarded carts lay abandoned, relics of the miners who had once toiled here. Faded lanterns hinted at the challenges they had faced in the unforgiving depths. The spelunkers couldn't help but imagine the lives of those who had come before them. Their quest for treasure led them deeper into the mine, where they unknowingly disturbed a hidden chamber. Suddenly, the ground trembled beneath their feet, and a low growl echoed through the tunnels. It was as if they had awakened a dormant force, a guardian of the mine, now stirred from its ancient slumber. The air grew thick with an unsettling tension. The spelunkers felt it an unseen malevolence lurking in the shadows. Their breaths came quicker and uneasy glances were exchanged. It was as if the very walls held a secret, one they were not meant to discover. As they pressed forward, shadows seemed to dance and shift, taking on a life of their own. The feeble light from their headlamps played tricks on their senses, creating eerie illusions that sent a chill down their spines. The spelunkers knew they were not alone but the true nature of their unseen companion remained shrouded in mystery. Then, from the depths of darkness, emerged a form, monstrous and formidable. Its eyes gleamed with an otherworldly light, fixated on the intruders. Fear gripped the spelunkers' hearts as they realized the truth. They had awakened a guardian, a creature determined to defend its ancient domain. Panic set in as they turned to flee, their footsteps echoing off the cold stone. The mind seemed to change, passages shifting and closing in around them. Every turn led to another dead end, every escape route sealed off. It was a nightmare, a desperate struggle for survival in the heart of the earth. As hope dwindled, the realization set in. Escape may be impossible. The mine, once a promise of adventure, now felt like a tomb. The spelunkers faced the grim truth that they may never see the light of day again. In a final courageous stand, the spelunkers turned to face the creature. Their breaths came in ragged gasps, their hearts pounding in their chests. It was a battle of wills, a fight for survival against a force as ancient as the earth itself. Thank you for watching Whispering Tales TV. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and join our community of fellow thrill seekers. Get ready for spine-tingling stories that will keep you up at night.
let the whispering tales begin.